Hello everyone, back to DIY day. Um, so today I'm going to be doing a um, barn wood look for a, a baby gate that we made for our stairs and it's um, just regular wood gate here. And normally I'd like to do this before I even put the gate together. Um, but it was winter and we just needed the gate up because baby started crawling at six months. So we're gonna just do it the way it is now. I'll show you some of the project or products I use to do the distressing of the wood. Um, I use min min wax stain in the color dark walnut, and normally I also use the min wax stain in classic gray. Um, this is a little bit old. I think it's like two years old, so I might not use this one. I'm going to practice that with it. But I did go to our little Ace Hardware where we live, um, did not have classic gray and Minwax. So I picked up this Old Masters in colored weathered wood. We'll see how that works. And then I just always have my like white, any kind of white cream paint, doesn't matter, eggshell, satin, doesn't matter. Um, and then of course brushes for the stain. I also have gloves for this for this time Because um, stain is really hard to get out of your hands So what I'm gonna do first is normally my pro my projects are done with pallet wood, so I don't have to do um, The nicking of the wood and make it look older So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to actually nick all this wood up a bit and um I'm going to use like a hammer, some nails, screws, and get that kind of weathered wood look. Normally, I would, would like to sand the edges of this to make it look a little round. She's bringing my gloves. Thank you. Can you give me them and shut the door? Um, but yeah, so I'm going to start by just nicking the wood up and we'll see how these it goes. are the items that i'm just going to use to nick it up um i think they'll work just fine so what i'm going to do is just kind of and then i'm going to take this little thing and just kind of ahead and sand off this um, wording and then this barcode here and then dent it up a bit again on this side. So I'm going to go ahead and sand the uh, sides of the wood to make it more rounder and um, that will look like more weathered wood. <laughs> My technique. I'm going to take this dark walnut, just going to set it 
over here. Don't touch it. What is that? Stain. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to set some on the wood like this. Then I'm going to take the gray and kind of do a strip here and there. I'm going to do one board at a time. Hopefully this gray works. I've not used this gray. Then take more of the dark walnut. And plop it on like this. Then take your paper towel and you wipe it all together on the stain like so. What's broken? Okay. And then we're just going to do that throughout the whole project and then we'll get to the white paint when we're all done with that part. Here is the stain on this side that's done. And I do want to mention that um, a rag instead of paper towel is probably better. I just don't have the rags that I want that are dirty so and I'm too cheap so I just use paper towels and they work just fine but and every time I get to this point I'm always like should I stop because it's really pretty the way it is and I'm not sure if the video is actually giving the color um really good but because almost like on the video it looks like it's like the burnt wood but it's actually not so hopefully that shows up after editing but so now I want to show you my technique for whitewashing I don't like to do a ton of whitewash I just like to do a little bit because I don't like it completely whitewash okay get your towel ready and then you're just gonna take a little bit on your brush like so and then just lightly lightly go across like this again this is tan I would really really like white so then do the same technique with staining <clears throat> These are like little rough edges, so that's one reason that you would like a towel better because then it'll take off a lot of particles with the paper towel. Okay, so I'm going to do a little more right there. And then the spots that you don't like, because I think like this kind of just doesn't look the greatest. I'm going to just take over some stain like that. that in. I'm not wearing my gloves because my dollar store gloves ripped. There, so we're going to do this all over and it does dry very, very nicely. So. If you're kind of like, that looks not so good, don't worry about it. It will. I'll mention here quick that when you put the white paint on, you want to go, like the first one I did, the circular motion, and I'm not sure why. But, so you want to go the length that you put the brush in so it kind of streaks and not look so cloudy like that one. That's that side. And you want to put like a lot of stain like that um, so it doesn't dry right away. Huh. 
<clears throat> you do want to be fast. That's why you want to work in like one board at a time. Buy some good gloves. No. Cause it's cold out and it's metal. Huh? Cause it's cold out and it's metal. Why is it metal? <sighs> Why not? I don't want to be too metal. Oh, okay. I want to metal off. Good luck. Is, is it done? No, I don't know. Kendall, okay, no, careful. I don't want you to buy the steam. Alright, there's the finished product. It's all whitewashed and stuff. Here's these little pieces here. And then I'll show a picture when it's done.